Today, I want to pose a question to all VHS collectors. What is your best VHS tape? There are 173 videos in my collection, so this is not going to be an easy pick. Now, just to be clear, we're not talking about the best movie or best TV show in your collection. We're talking the best VHS. This also has nothing to do with the video memories rankings. That was based purely on entertainment value. Now, when it comes to picking the best VHS tape, there are a number of important factors. Number one, opening and closing promos. When you watch a VHS tape, these are the first things you see. Sometimes you like them and you're happy to sit through them. Sometimes you have to reach for the remote and fast forward through them. Number two, presentation. This basically amounts to the front and back covers. Then of course, the main feature, how much you like what the video contains. Next, the overall quality of the video, which includes rewatch value, as both a kid and as an adult. When you collect VHS tapes over a long period of time, it can be hard trying to narrow it down to the absolute best. And for me, I've been able to narrow it down to 10 possible contenders. Number one, Chases, Races and Runaways. For me, this has always been the best Thomas and Friends video. The opening promos are incredibly average in my eyes. My problem was I didn't care about most of these TV shows. The front cover is very nice. It's quite possibly one of the best covers in my entire collection. The main feature is really nice. It's 18 episodes of the TV series and a really good picking of episodes. Loved it as a kid. The rewatch value was high as a kid. As a 27 year old, however, I'm not going to rewatch this. I have nostalgic feelings for it, but I'm not going to rewatch it in this day and age. Next we have Singing Kettle Pirates. As I've stated numerous times before, this was the first video I ever had in my entire collection. There's only one opening promo on the video, an advertisement for the Singing Kettle World Tour, but it's still decent overall. The front cover is nice, probably the best Singing Kettle cover for both VHS and DVD. The main feature is also great, it's easily the best Singing Kettle release ever made. The closing promos are fine, it's just an ad for the Singing Kettle shop. Nothing amazing there. As for the rewatch value, this one is understandably low, because when you think about it, it's just a stage show for young kids. But despite all that, I still have a high level of affection for this one. Now the next two are sort of debatable. They are the recordable cartoon videos from 2005, tape number one and tape number five. Now I've made this clear multiple times before, this is my favourite period of Cartoon Network. Not only that, but it was my favourite part of my favourite period. It was also the original cartoon lineup, which was definitely the best out of them all. Now obviously there are no promos on this because they're recordable videos. There's also no presentation with these videos beyond the video titles and CC on tape number one to indicate cartoon cartoons. That all being said, the main feature is fantastic, the quality is great and the rewatch value is incredibly high, maybe even higher as an adult considering Cartoon Network no longer looks like this. But that being said, they are recordable videos, so you have to ask, do recordable videos even count? Next, the Aristocats. This one has very good opening promos. Disney videos usually have the best opening promos, and when it comes to Aristocats, I feel like that one is the most classic and most nostalgic in my life. With this one, we have a decent presentation, nice classic artwork. It may be a tad racist in this day and age, but as far as I'm concerned, the movie is still good. The ending credits are god-awful, some of the absolute worst in my entire collection. I loved the movie as a kid, maybe not as much as an adult, and if we count Pixar movies, it probably wouldn't crack my top five. Which brings us to Toy Story 2. This one also has decent opening promos. As far as I'm concerned, you can't go wrong with anything Disney World related. We also have a decent VHS case with very nice cover art. As for the main feature, slight spoiler for video memories, this is my favourite animated movie of all time. So naturally, I give it high marks. Unfortunately, where this one suffers is the rewatch value. The rewatch value on this is incredibly low. 
I had the DVD first, and that was my main source when it came to this movie. And the VHS version was limited to weekend sleepovers. Which brings us to the Back to the Future trilogy. The promos are incredibly average on this. I should also mention all three movies have the same promos. An opening promo for E.T. and a god-awful closing promo about video piracy. The presentation is nice, we got good front covers, we got really nice and informative back covers. I love reading these as a kid. And I absolutely love that when you put the video spines together, they say Back to the Future. The rewatch value for these is average. High when I was a kid and I had no other version, but very low these days when I have DVD and Blu-ray. But that being said, they're there when I need them. When I moved house and I was setting up furniture and the DVDs were all packed away, the VHS tapes were there to entertain me. And finally, we come to what I think is the best video in the collection. The Lion King. The opening promos in this video are great and highly rewatchable. The closing promos are incredibly average. Not that it mattered, I rarely watched them. We have relatively decent presentation, a nice and classic front cover. As for the main feature, this movie is fantastic. It is easily my favourite Disney movie if Pixar doesn't count. Not only does the movie hold up incredibly well, but my VHS tape is still in remarkably good shape after 25 years. As for the rewatch value, I would rewatch this just for the opening promos, the animated storybook and Space Mountain especially. And yes, even though I have them on DVD, I would still happily watch this on VHS. Now of course, this is highly subjective. Everyone is going to have their own personal opinions, but in my eyes, Lion King is the best VHS tape in my collection. What is the best video in your collection?